Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, February 18th, and it's 9.15 a.m. here in Alabama. Could be evening where you are, but anyway, what I have to tell you, I have to bring an important product recall for you. Now, this one, it could be deadly. All right, it's, it's the title, <coughs> excuse me. Snow thrower. You've heard of a snow blower? Okay, this is a snow thrower. Probably about the same thing. Recalled because of, quote, amputation hazard, unquote. This was updated February 17th, 2021, and it's in an um, online publication called Patriot News. Well, above that it says Pen. Live, P-E-N-N, -N, Live, P-A. There's a P-A. That must be their their logo because it looks like a, a bubble with a point on it like when you see a cartoon and you see a bubble over their head with a point that goes to their head then you know what they're saying or thinking. Okay, that's, anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is important if you've just got one of these. Toro is recalling almost 7,000 of its Power Max snow throwers. And don't you imagine several people ran out and invested in one of these? The report is by Deb Kiner, D. Kiner at penlive.com. Toro is recalling almost 7,000 of its Power Max snow throwers because, quote, the auger, whatever that is, some part in it, can fail to disengage when the control lever is released, posing an amputation hazard, unquote. Okay, so it's probably like a lawnmower that you, when you hold the bar down, it, it takes itself. You just sort of walk behind it. And it pulls itself. But as soon as you let go, that lawnmower stops and cuts off. So if you, if you, if you let go and it keeps going, are you going to reach under there and try to stop the blades with your hand? I guess they're just covering their bases because some guys think they can fix everything and they may reach down in there to try to see why isn't it stopping I don't know but it could happen okay this is an it could happen and they don't want to be responsible for you losing your hand or your arm half your arm whatever According to an announcement with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, and you can click on that, the machines were sold at Home Depot. Who doesn't go to Home Depot? Oh, I, I shouldn't have stopped yet. It says, <laughs> were sold at Home Depot, Ace Hardware, another popular store, and Toro authorized dealers nationwide and online at www.homedepot.com, acehardware.com, and toro.com from November 2020 through January of 2021 for about $1,200. Wow. But I can see someone going out and plunking down that on their credit card because, oh my goodness, we're going to get two feet of snow and I don't even have a snow shovel. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't get snow. Maybe, I don't know. Would someone go out and buy something like that for one-time snow? I don't know. Just putting it out there because it could be important to somebody who bought one. All the serial numbers start with 408 or 409. 
Customers should contact a Toro authorized dealer for a free repair. To locate a dealer, call 833-254-8856 or go to www.toro.com slash locator all right and then it says read more that's some um, more things that are recalled computer cases recalled because circuit board may catch fire computer cases nasal spray recalled because it is contaminated with yeast how does that happen Bowflex barbells recalled because the weight plate may fall off that must be the thing at the end that keeps the little rings from falling off millions of steel shelving units Recalled because they may fail to support the weight indicated. Now that's one many people might have. So it would be good to go look into those. All right, I'll put the link in the description box for penlive.com. How about that? You go check those out. All right. I pray you all have a warm, blessed day. And let us keep in prayer those with no power. There are still ongoing outages and a huge strip of the United States, many states, affected by this hmm, oh, we'll just call it a storm. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye for now.